Corporal Noah, N-O-A-H, Demumbrian, 3531, 3rd TSB. My name is Corporal Demumbrian. I'm an NCO here at 3rd TSB for this training exercise for a gotten a theory on the island of Aishima. So my main role is I hold a key billet in the SL3 inventories in gear. Uh, and also I have partaked in many billets along the convoy. Um, includes CC, ACC, security team leader, and all those other billets that convoys require. So the CC stands for the convoy commander. And the convoy commander is in control of the whole convoy in itself. They are in charge of um, making sure that the convoy runs right, making sure that everyone's doing their job, and they also uh, have communications uh, with the internal, which means within the convoy, and the external, talking to the COC, which is just the chain of command. Uh, ACC, he runs the show on the internal level, mostly. Uh, the ACC is what who everyone rogers up to, so the ACC can roger up to the CC. The ACC's role is to take counts of all the Marines, weapons, gear, all those accountabilities. Um, at the same time, the ACC is also, when, when the CC can't uh, help something else, the ACC will step in and do that job. Um, security team leader, their job is just to provide security around down vehicles, IEDs, uh, whatever else that needs 360 security in that aspect. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, what other is. We got na uh, navigation. Uh, navigation is exactly what it is. It's navigating through your route on the convoy. Uh, CCs, I mean, what is required for you to be a CC is just have a level head, keep calm, because at all times, CCs have two radios, one for internal communications, one for external. Um, so the CC is required to have good leadership skills, um, be well, you know, just a well-rounded individual and make sure that he can keep track of everything that's going on. The ACC, they require dedication to the whole convoy because, I mean, the ACC is honestly harder than the CC, in my own opinion. They, they have control of what needs to get put up to the CC, i.e. Uh, nine lines, CASI vax, um, sit reps, uh, sit reps stand for situation reports, uh, and all that jazz. They, they will send that up to the CC if need be. So it's a lot of training that we do to prepare for field ops, um, is we'll do something called rock drills and uh, what rock drills are is basically a simulation of what the convoy is going to do and you get all the people that are going to be involved in the convoy you have them in numerical order from first vic to last vic and you'll run and you'll tell them to start walking around and then you'll throw out a scenario like uh, okay contact left there's enemy fire coming from the left and the convoy will react how they need to in that aspect. So that's, that's a little bit of the training that we do uh, for the convoys. Most of our cross training came from the uh, Navy Corpsmen. They trained us in a lot of the TCCC, which stands for Tactical Combat Casualty Care. And we also trained with a lot of the refuelers, which is over there by our berm. Uh, we provide the fuel, but they have actual MOSs for the uh, refueling of the uh, aircrafts. And that's a lot of the cross training that we've done mostly here at this training. So it's always a great experience to work with other um, units and MOSs. It's always a, a fun time to meet new people and uh, have them cross train us as much as they can. And it's been, a, it's been a great experience. I mean, just today we had a awesome convoy where we, uh, did a dismount over by the tower and we had a whole jump squad come out of the airplane and we were basically providing security for them to infiltrate the tower uh, in the south side of Aishima. So it's been, it's been a real fun time. So my message to them 
would just to be if you're ever doubting like why you're in a field op or in any scenario in the Marine Corps in general, uh, keep your head up and keep training because it's all comes down to a very important, very important skills that we need to survive whether we go to combat or even outside the military.